this tutorial, I want to show you how to troubleshoot ActiveSync or Windows Mobile Device Center connections. Now, I've purposely broken an ActiveSync connection so that we can walk through it and you can see how to troubleshoot it. So, um, first, I want to talk about ways to troubleshoot ActiveSync. First, look at the contacts of the device, see if they're clean and undamaged, and if they are, if, if they are not, then uh, take a, a cotton swab and a little bit of rubbing alcohol or Windex and a toothpick and, and kind of poke them in there and get them clean. Make sure you do this with the device off, of course, and blow out any excess liquid with uh, some con compressed air. Um, try a different USB cable or plug it into a different USB port. See if it's a cable or a port problem. I've had it where ports can get uh, broken on a computer and you don't know it. Um, Always check and make sure you're running the, the latest version of ActiveSync or Windows Mobile Device Center. Um, that can solve a lot of problems. Um, I'll talk about this one, but uh, I won't be able to show it to you until I actually fix the problem. But on the device, you can go to uh, Start Settings Connections and USB to PC. Um, that box, whether it's checked or unchecked, toggles it between network mode, which is uh, checked, and USB mode, which is unchecked and uh, that will give Windows a different way to connect to the device whether it wants to see it as a network adapter with it checked or as a USB device with it unchecked. Um, the next thing that you can do is on the device um, make sure that uh, you're you're set to accept USB connections and again I'll show you these in another segment um, that's start programs active sync menu connections and synchronize all PCs with this connection it should be set to USB but uh, the last kind of ditch effort I want to show you first to get this fixed is to go into Device Manager. So what you do is you hover over, your, or you, you go to Start, and then you hover over Computer. You right-click and go to Manage. Um, you do need to have an administrative account to do this. Um, so once this pulls up, we click on Device Manager. And we look for um, broken devices. Now I know that this is my Wi-Fi card that's broken so I'm gonna go to this unknown device, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click update driver software. I'm gonna search automatically for updated driver software. It's gonna go online and search for software that matches and sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm actually hoping it doesn't so that I can show you some other methods. So we'll just give this a moment. Okay so it's telling me that it can't find anything better which is fine. Um, to break this, I kind of plugged and unplugged the device as much as I could to, to get it to not recognize it. So I'm going to actually uninstall it from the device, from the computer. You can click right-click and go to uninstall, or you can just click on it and strike your delete key. Um, just make sure you select the right one. Let's hit OK to confirm. It's going to uninstall the device, and now I'm going to have to unplug it and plug it back in. So just one moment. Okay, so it's now trying to load the driver correctly. Um, I'll just kind of give it a minute here. Okay, it's still coming back up as an unknown device, and so <laughs> apparently I've broken this real good for you. What I'm going to do now is uh, reset the device as it sits on the cradle, but before I do that, I'm going to uninstall this device again. Okay, so uninstall it again. I'm going to reset it, unplug, and replug back in. Okay, so the device is reset, and now we're just kind of waiting for Windows to recognize it. And hey, look. It's uh, it's working now, so um, we don't want to register for your newsletter. So now it's connected. I've got, kind of got an old legacy device, um, but I'm going to show you what um, what it will look like when we go to set uh, that up. Just one moment here. Okay, so we've got it up here on uh, the desktop, so you can see it. So I'm going to go to the Start menu. I'm going to go to Settings. I am going to go to Connections and then USB to PC. This is true for 2005 and newer. This is a 2005 Geo. It's just what I had at my desk. So this toggle switch will switch between network mode and USB mode. So if you're having problems, you can try this. Um, look in Device Manager. And then I'll show you again if you go to Start, Programs, Active Sync, and Menu. And it would be Connections. Why are we not getting that? Um, probably because it's synchronized right now, but when it's offline you can see menu, connections, and then connect using USB. Um, so that's it, uh, Active Sync in a nutshell. If you have any questions, let us know here at Monson Engineering or sound out in the com comments below. Thanks. Bye.